Welcome back, everybody. Good Monday morning. She has been in the fashion game for nearly 25 years. That's incredible unto itself. She's worked with powerhouses like Betsy Johnson. Now Canada's Shelly O continues to use her platform rather for good in many ways. We are celebrating, if I can say it, Asian Heritage Month this morning. And Shelly joins us live. Good morning, Shelly. How are you? Hi, good morning. I'm well. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's so important that we talk to you this morning for a million reasons. First things first, unfortunately, in the headlines, we saw one too many about um, Asian hate crimes. So you said you wanted to use your platform this month especially for good. How? Um, well, by celebrating the fact that I am an uh, Asian Canadian fashion yeah. designer. Um, yeah. I think it's something that's important to feel proud about. I think I felt for a long time that it was more important to be recognized by the work. But I think if I were to be honest with myself, by not identifying as an Asian Canadian fashion designer, I think it allowed me to try to hi not hide it, but like hope people didn't notice and accept me anyway. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's important that uh, that if you're an Asian designer to identify as one. <laughs> well said. And as you've been through many obstacles yourself, which is why you're so connected to um, the Redwood. Talk to us about that in terms of keeping women and children safe, which has also been such an issue during the pandemic where people are stuck inside really toxic situations and relationships at home. Yeah, it's it's a really bad time for that. The Redwood is a nonprofit that helps women and children live free from domestic violence. And uh, not only do they offer a safe haven for these women to uh, escape to, but they provide a, an extensive number of programs and services and resources to help them rebuild their lives in the aftermath, which is really hard, um, speaking from experience. I am a survivor of domestic violence myself. And it's often overlooked at how difficult that stage was. So I didn't know when I was going through it that organizations like the Redwood existed. Mm. And going through it on your own, it, it took a lot of years. So there were a few years in there where I disappeared because I was broken and I needed to, to, to heal. I needed to rebuild not just my life, but myself. Um, and I consider myself extremely fortunate to be here, to be given a second chance, because there were many times I almost gave up. Wow. And it's one of the reasons why um, organizations like the Redwood and the work that the amazing staff and volunteers do there for the women and children are so vital um, to, to sort of help people through this process um, because it can be very hard. Shelley, I admire your strength and courage to be able to talk about it. I can't even imagine how hard that is, but no, you're, you're affecting so many women out there who realize now there is a way out and you can thrive, not just survive, and you're living proof. And then to add to your layers of giving back, you know, we talk about the environment all the time, and it seems so big, and what can we do to help? You're looking at more sustainable ways to create fashion and to use pieces in various ways within your line, right? Yeah, so um, I've started creating what I call transformative pieces mm -hmm. where um, the pieces are, go beyond one-off um, one uh, red carpet looks. So it's combining looks so you can get four different looks with one dress. So uh, one of the dresses in my top three basically is four looks in one. It has a removable, gorgeous feather train. Um, so you can make your entrance. And then afterwards, if you want to either use it for just an afternoon garden party or even at an after party, the train is removable. And then you can just have the little feathered piece. It has a removable feathered hand-sewn collar that you can actually add to that look. It's uh, so you can, it, it's, it's very versatile. So in my way, it, it helps reduce my footprint in the sense that then women are buying less looks for uh, multiple purposes. <laughs> Brilliant. You also have the male model in a coat uh, from the menswear line which you said you could change up from spring, summer nights, worn, dressed up, dressed down. So it's the versatility again. It's You're supposed to wear it over and over. It's a staple. Yes, that's correct. Um, I try to use things that, um, because a lot of my clothing are seasonless. And when the pandemic hit, a lot of designers had made the decisions to produce less collections that, that would translate over longer periods of time. So that is definitely something that I believe very strongly in. 
I love all of it. Keep doing what you do. You're a beautiful designer, beautiful soul, and you've inspired us today. ShellyO.com for more information and love to you. Thank you so much, Shelly. Thank you. Coming up next, chia seeds or hemp seeds? Chew on that, friends. We're going to put your healthy food knowledge to the test. It's Diva Brown versus myself with Marilyn Smith. She's got a pop quiz for all of us to play right after this.